Okay, so I figured I'd make another quick video since last time we did a video covering a tool to do hard drive maintenance and recover data on a hard drive. Today we're going to be doing the complete opposite and showing you a tool on how to completely wipe all your data. And this is useful if you're trying to sell a hard drive or just make sure no one gets their hands on your data. And the best tool to do that, it's a free tool, it's called DBAN, stands for Derek's Boot and Nuke. And you can, it's completely free. So what we're going to do here, I'll show you how to search for it and where to download the ISO file. So we're going to go up here and search for DBAN ISO download. And the file you want is right here, dban.org. You're going to go up to the top right, click download. It's going to take a few seconds for the download to start. And I already did a trial run of this, so it's going to put a secondary ISO file with the one in parentheses, but we're not going to use that. And how I'm going to do this, I'm going to put this ISO file into a virtual machine so I can show you guys the the options that DBAN has. Typically what you would have to do, like you did with Spinrate, you're going to have to take that ISO file, use Rufus to create a bootable flash drive, and boot your computer from that. Once you do that, you can boot from you can use this tool on hard drives you can use it on basically any kind of storage media but since we're using a virtual machine we only need the iso file so i'll go ahead and get this started and i'll show you guys the different options you can choose okay so here we have dban booted up i don't use any of the other options above enter so i just press the enter key to start dban in interactive mode it's usually the best way to do it so we'll get it started here it's going to take a few seconds to load up but once it gets there i'll show you guys the different options you can choose from basically what it does it gives you different levels of wiping capability so if you just want a quick wipe you can choose that it just runs over all the bits with zeros or ones if you want more in-depth wipe algorithms you can do that as well you just have to remember each level you go down it's going to increase the amount of time it's going to take to wipe that hard drive so we'll give it a few more seconds here to load up okay it's finally done so we're going to go down towards the bottom. It gives you a bunch of different options. We're going to press M for method, and that's going to take us through the different levels. So here's the different levels I was talking about. Quick erase, like I said, just goes through and wipes everything with zeros. That's not super secure. Someone could actually reverse engineer that. So they give you a bunch of different options. I always thought it was hilarious. They have RCMP, the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, for some reason have their own sanitization standard i have no idea why but i always thought that was hilarious and if you go down to so the dod has a couple the dod there's dod short and dod standard and as you can see on the right there it shows you the different security levels and the different passes it makes so quick erase was one rcmp was i think two or three and gutman wipe is high at 35 passes that's kind of ridiculous but as you can see, the DoD thinks 7 is good enough, so I don't know why in the world you would need 35 passes. But I figured that's that's pretty much all you have to do. So once you... We'll just, for an example, we'll pick Quick Erase. I'm not actually going to wipe it because, like I said, this is on a virtual machine. I've never ran this on a virtual machine hard drive. I don't know what it's going to do. So we'll just select Quick Erase from now. I'll press the space bar to select. And if this was on an actual device you were trying to wipe, you would hit F10 to start, and it would go through and give you a little status bar when it's done. So depending on how much data you have to wipe, it's going to increase the amount of time and the algorithm you're choosing. But that should be about it. Thanks for watching.